Welcome everyone. In this video podcast or tutorial, I'm going to explain how to upload pictures and or video files from your camera or card reader using Photoshop Elements Organizer. We will be using, or at least the screens will be showing you, uh, version 10 of the program. However, the process and the screens look very similar in earlier versions. Normally, I always start Photoshop Elements in the Organizer. And assuming you already have Elements open and you're in the Organizer, all you need to do to get started is click on File, Get Photos and Videos from Camera and Card Reader as you see in this slide. Once you click on that, you're ready to begin. The very first screen you're going to see, assuming you already have your camera or your card reader connected to the USB port on your computer, is a blue bar up in the upper part of the Elements Organizer Photo Downloader. There you will see Select a Device. Now, if in that blue area it's not blue, it will say None Detected. That means you haven't properly connected your camera or turned it on, or there might be another button you need to push on your camera to instigate the interconnection between it and the computer. A card reader generally will pop up there and will be given a particular drive letter that is unique to your computer setup. Once you've got the blue bar there, you're ready to proceed. Click on the downward arrow, and the next screen that you're going to see will pop up. Generally speaking, again, up in that same area, you will see the blue highlighted. And your camera or card reader most likely is going to be highlighted already in blue or at least the top uh, selection. You're going to click there. And now what happens is all of the pictures and video that is on your card or in your camera on the memory card are copied in terms of their thumbnails in the window that you see in this area of the screen. Now what I have done here and it's not really part of what we're going to be doing but there is an icon where it says show and there's a button to the left that's the icon for pictures the button just to the right of it with the red circle is the icon for videos. Now, if you're taking both videos and pictures or single still images on your camera, then you will have an inter your videos and your pictures will be intermingled in this larger area where the thumbnails are shown. However, if for some reason you wanted to only upload the pictures at this time, you could click on that film strip where the red circle is, and now all of the video files are hidden. And then when you proceed to the next steps, only those files that are individual pictures will be uploaded. The other thing that you want to be concerned about on this screen is over here on the right hand side. You can set this particular options up in your edit preferences camera or card reader section in the organizer. I have done that ahead of time to make this easier and this is where I normally keep it. Up here at the very top you will see that it says where you're going to store these particular pictures you're about to upload. Mine are going to go on to my F drive and in a particular folder I've set up for originals. If it's not pointing to where you want, you can click on browse and point to that folder. The way I've set mine up in the edit, edit preferences that I referred to a minute ago is I have a folder on my F drive, not my C drive because I've kind of expanded from that, that I have named originals. And there I'm going to put all of my original files coming 
from my camera or card reader. And each time they're uploaded, they're going to be put into a subfolder underneath that Photos Originals that is by shot date. And you can see that in that next line down, Create Subfolder by Shot Date. And if you wanted to, you could rename each one of the files being uploaded. Like if you had taken 20 pictures at a soccer game, it could be called, you, you could tell it to be called soccer, and then each one of your pictures would be numerically uh, sequenced after the word soccer, like soccer 1, soccer 2, soccer 3. I generally don't do that. Also, where it says Advanced, advanced Options, I do nothing. I do not automatically fix red eyes. I'd rather do that in the photo editing part of Photoshop Elements if they need it. I don't automatically suggest photo stacks. And I don't make a custom group for the pictures I'm outputting or uploading at the time. However, you can if you want to. That's just how I choose to work. Also, one of the very important things I think is right down below there in that white area, it says, after copying, do not delete originals. That, to me, is very important. You want to copy the pictures to your computer, and then when you're ready, and you know they got their okay, and you got them tagged, and whatever, then you can go back and delete the pictures from your card using your camera itself. And then, finally, when this is all set up the way you want, well, one other thing you could if you wanted to. Notice that if or below each one of the thumbnails, you will see a green check mark in a square, little square to the lower right hand corner of each thumbnail. If for some reason you only wanted to, up, to upload a certain number or certain individual pictures, you would remove that check mark. Right now, the check mark is saying upload this particular picture. If, let's say, you had 290 pictures that were on your card and and you only wanted to upload 10, well, that's a lot of check marks to remove. Down there at the bottom of that grid that shows your thumbnails, there's a button that says Uncheck All. You would click there, and then every single green check mark would be removed. Then all you would have to do is click on the 10 pictures, their particular squares, to put the check marks back in for those 10 pictures. When you're all done, click in the lower right-hand corner, where it says Get Media. Now the pictures begin to be copied to your computer and you will see a progress bar as you see here beginning to fill up uh, next on your screen. When all of the pictures have been copied to your computer you will get a message that says basically the files have been successfully copied from your device and now they're ready to be put or imported into your organizer. And you would answer yes here because that's what we want to do. We want to copy the pictures to our computer and then we want their thumbnails to be included in our catalog. So you'd click yes. Now very quickly a, another progress bar comes in and this only takes as long as it takes to generate the thumbnails uh, to reflect all the pictures that you've just uploaded. It generally goes much faster than actually copying the pictures themselves to the computer. You finally get a message that says, OK, we've imported the pictures you wanted into the catalog. And when you hit OK, which you will do in the next step, the only pictures you'll see are those you've just imported. And in our case, uploaded to the computer from the card or the camera. Finally, you get this screen. Those are the pictures that you see there that during this demonstration were uploaded to the computer and into the organizer. They're all there ready to be tagged with a catalog, category or a subcategory or a tag. They're all collected in one spot. And in fact, if I wanted to tag them all with the same category, subcategory, or tag, I could simply do Control A to select every one of those pictures and then drag over the particular tag or category that I wanted and they would all be tagged with that immediately. That's pretty much it and how it works and this is what I do each and every time I have pictures or videos to upload 
from my camera or card reader. Thanks for listening, and I hope this helps a bit.